Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and I'm going to show you something new about Windows Phone 8. Let's check it out. Alright, in this video, we're going to take a look at the speech UI, the lock screen, and the new start screen on Windows Phone 8. So let's start with the speech UI. This is one of my favorites. Hold down the Windows key. Now it's going to start listening, so I don't want it to do that. I'm going to hit the question mark to show us what the commands are. Now some of these are familiar, we've seen these before, however there's a new one here called note. So you say note and then blah blah blah, whatever you want the note to be and it will create a one note note in your unfiled uh, notes pages with whatever message you spoke transcribed to text as well as a voice recording, which is uh, pretty nice. So you can still open apps and text people and respond to instant messages uh, from on Facebook, on Windows Live Messenger. All that still works. However, there's something really cool is on the apps. If you install an app that adds voice commands to the speech interface, you'll see it here and you can choose an app to see more about what you can say with that command. and then there's more you can do things while you're on the call. So let's try one of these. Urban Spoon Find Pizza. Searching for pizza food. Pizza food. That's the type of food that pizza eats. I found 20 <laughs> restaurants for you. So there you go. Uh, and this is all accessible from a Bluetooth headset, so I could just, I could not even be touching the phone and just press the uh, voice dialing button on a Bluetooth headset or a, you know, a car kit. And it would return this uh, results. And you can see stuff there. Now you don't even have to be in um, the start screen or whatnot. We can do this from anywhere. Audible, play Sex in the City. So from there, I was in some separate app, and then I decided to uh, play an audiobook. That's an awfully long rain check. He said he would call early. So there you go. Uh, let's, let's go for the speech options. Here's my settings. And from here, you can choose whether you want it always on or just Bluetooth or all that usual stuff. You can change the voice and you can change the language and this is pretty cool you can actually download other languages for the speech UI okay next up the lock screen let me shut it off again and show you that so if you can see this this is a special lock screen from HTC and it shows the weather up here uh, the degrees and this is actually this background image changes depending on what the weather is. That's a custom one. I'm going to show you in the settings. Here's our lock screen. So up here you have background and I can actually choose uh, from some apps that have extended the lock screen background image options. Uh, you got Bane, that'll do like a the photo of the day from Bane. Facebook is interesting. Now to get the options for the lock screen for a specific app, we have another little button there. And from here I can choose which Facebook photos I want it to show, and maybe a different style, maybe we want a blue on the bottom so that it you can still read everything. CNN will do like a, a headline news photo. So there's, there's lots of options here, and obviously any app can add to this. Now we also have customizations for the data on the lock screen. So I can choose calendar, CNN will show a headline, uh, Facebook will show my current status. Uh, you can show emails, messaging, and phone status. Lots of options there, and we also have, you can customize the little icons at the bottom. These are the little icons that show a number of 
how many new notifications there are. So if you want to change one, you just tap it. And then you can choose a different email account or uh, games notifications. There's that. And Facebook. Uh, supposedly, we might see Twitter there, but it's not there yet. It, it all depends on what the app developers allow to be shown there. So lastly, let's go back to the start screen, and this is has some new stuff. You've probably seen it before, though. We have all sorts of, uh, we have three different sizes for your live tiles. So you tab and hold like usual, and you can move them this way, and you can unpin them with that little button. And there's a new little arrow that makes you resize it. And then touch it again to uh, lock it in. And you can see third-party apps can do their new uh, larger live tiles as well. All of the existing apps already have a square and a small square. But the big one is uh, a new option. And you can see as they animate, the the motion is a little bit a little bit different. It kind of bounces a little. Kind of a subtle but cool addition. So these we can all resize. And obviously you can arrange them any way you want. So you can leave some negative space if you want some uh, blank areas. So much more customizable for the start screen. So that's a quick look at the speech UI, the new lock screen customization options, and the start screen on Windows Phone 8. Stay tuned for more, and that's it for now.